Hi, let us learn how to create this beautiful animated infographic in PowerPoint that allows you to present three different case scenarios. You can present each of the scenarios with animation. On a click, you talk about the worst case scenario, then the usual scenario and the best case scenario. This slide is quite handy in a business situation where you are expected to share the different scenarios and the kind of decisions one need to take during those scenarios. So let us learn how to create this beautiful animated infographic from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I have a new slide. The first step is to insert a donut chart that has 12 segments. For that, let us go to insert, go to chart option. Let us choose pie. And in that, let us choose this type called as donut. Let us say, okay. That inserts the chart onto the slide and you have this workbook open where you can change the numbers. Let me choose number one here and we need 12 segments, which means the number that you see here needs to be 13 because one of these is for the header. So we are going to have one and then click and drag all the way down till number 13 rather. Now we have 12 segments. Excellent. You don't need to change anything else. Close the workbook and then let us remove all the unnecessary elements like this chart title, legends. Now we only have these segments. Excellent. Now let us convert this donut chart into a graphic that we can easily customize. So let me select this chart, click on the bounding box, right click, cut, then go to home, paste, paste special. Here I have the option to insert it as SVG image. If you don't have the recent version of PowerPoint, then you can use this option called enhanced meta file. I like to work with SVG images, so I'm going to choose SVG option. If you don't want to use enhanced meta file, there is also the option for Windows meta file. You can use any of these types and they all work exactly the same way. Now let me say OK. Now this is an SVG image I can edit quite easily. The next step is to convert this into a shape. So let us select this and go to convert to shape option in the graphics format. And now this is a shape that I can manipulate quite easily. The first step is to make these three segments transparent. So let me select this, right click and go to format shape. Then I increase the transparency all the way till 100%. Then select this, 100%, select this, 100%. So these are transparent. Now I'm going to select this whole thing and then go to shape outline and say no outline. Now we have the graphic just the way we want it. Now let me rotate this whole graphic by 15 degrees. So let me click on the bounding box. Go to this option here called size and properties. Go to size and say 15 degrees and hit enter. Now the angle is quite nice. The next step is to show three segments. Let us select this, hold the shift button down, select this segment and this segment. Go to shape fill and use a color to represent the worst case scenario. I'm going to choose this orange color. If you want, you can even have shape outline as the same orange color. Now we have one segment defined. Then let us select this, hold the shift button down, this and this to be selected. Go to shape fill and use orange color. Once again, go to shape outline and use the same orange color so there is no gap visible. Then select this, hold the shift button down, select this and this, and then choose green color. You can use either this green or you can use this green. It is completely up to you. I'm going to choose this green, go to shape outline and use the same color. Now we have this nice looking graphic. Now I don't really need to edit this any further. So let me select this, right click, cut, and then I'm going to paste it back as a picture. So it is easier for me to readjust the size. So let us go to paste and then paste it as a picture here. Now let me hold the shift button down, click and drag from the corner. So the size is ideal. The next step is to create the needle to show the different scenarios. For that, let me go to auto shapes gallery. Let us go to basic shapes and use this one called as isosceles triangle for our needle. And this is going to be our needle. 
go to shape fill give it white color go to shape outline and say no outline and then let us duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then let us flip it vertical and place this right below the previous one now what we are doing is to create a ghost shape so that it's much easier for us to create the handle I've explained why you need a ghost shape in a number of our previous tutorials so I'm not going to repeat myself so just follow the tutorial and see how this works so I have selected this once again I'm going to increase the transparency of this to 100% while that is selected hold the shift button down and select the other one as well press ctrl G to group it now I can move this and the needle moves in exactly the direction that I want now let me place this over here it is way too big hold the shift button down click and drag from the corner to readjust the size now that looks good enough now this is one scenario which is straight in the middle now let me hold this rotation handle and move the needle so it points to the worst case scenario now to hide this ugly edge here I'm going to use a circle so let us go to auto shapes gallery pull out the oval tool hold the shift button down and draw a circle go to shape fill and use an attractive color like say this red color then go to shape effects go to preset and use one of these presets like preset 5 or you can even use like preset 2 let me place this right on top of the previous one now we have got our visual in place now let me go to the previous slide where I've already got these text elements in place. So I don't really have to retype all these elements. Let me select all of these, press Ctrl C and then come back to this slide and press Ctrl V. Now they are positioned properly. The last step is to add animation. Let me introduce this handle with a simple wipe animation. So let me go to animations, wipe and this wipes from right. And that is our first animation. Right after that, we need to have the text for the worst case fade in. So let us select this and say fade animation. And this happens after previous. The next step is to rotate this needle. So it moves to the normal case. So let us select this. Since we already have an animation on this, we need to add animation, go to spin. And then you can see that it rotates quite nicely to the whole 360 degrees. We don't need that much of a rotation. We just need a 90 degree rotation which is achieved with a simple quarter spin and that goes to this position here perfect now i don't want this to be this slow so let us reduce the duration to maybe one second and to add a bit of drama i'm going to have a bounce effect so let me click on the drop down menu go to effect options go to bounce end and make it somewhere to the center and say okay now that is a nice effect Right after this, we need to have this one fade in. So we have the text element fade in happens after previous. Right after that, we need to have one more animation that goes from here to here. So let us select the same needle, add animation, spin, go to effect options, quarter spin and reduce the duration to one second. And right after that, we are going to have this one fade in and say after previous. Now when I go to slideshow, this is how the slide looks. On a click, I introduce the worst case scenario, make my case and then on a click, I take the viewer's attention to the normal case and then on a click, I explain the best case scenario. Now let me show you three animated PowerPoint templates from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle just to showcase how you can use creative animation to communicate a concept. This slide communicates the concept of choosing the idea that flies. Here on a click, I present five different ideas. Then after discussing the different ideas, I can click and all the other ideas are removed and the idea that has wings is shown beautifully. In this next template, I talk about picking one from many options. On a click, I present the different options. You can talk about the various options here. And then on a click, a hand comes and picks just the one option that is the right one. And you can write your text here to represent the right option. And in the last example, we talk about how you can visualize idea to execution. On a click, I present three different ideas. First, the idea one, idea two, and idea three. And you can write your text about idea generation phase here. Then on a click, we move to the execution phase where everything gets converted into gears and we talk about execution here. Comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle has 
tons and tons of such beautifully animated concepts that you can use to explain your ideas visually to your audience. The link to this useful product is in the description box below the video. You can click and check out more details about this product. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.